Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another movie reaction. Today, we're going to be watching The Usual Suspects. Now, this is a really good one from what I'm hearing of. I mean, this is probably one of the, I would say, the more legendary ones, uh, a part of this category. I remember when I put it on the poll, and there's definitely blew away you know some of the other movies that were kind of on that uh that poll to begin with so it's really interesting to see myself kind of like watching this now i've never watched this uh as well this is just another movie that you guys are just gonna have to kind of take my word for it <laughs> but yeah i've never watched this but i know that it is praised for um it's it's storytelling like in terms of the writing and um, this is something that I'm really interested in because, you know, like I said previously on other videos, I'm studying a lot more screenwriting and I really am enjoying uh, more films that focus primarily on the writing. Not to say that other films don't, films don't, but, you know, it's really interesting when, let's say, for instance, usually the foundation of a film is usually the cinematography or the soundtrack or the acting. Um, it's really nice seeing films that have the foundation of screenwriting and just just, you know, it really shows you what you can do with just good writing. You know, if you have a good a good script in front of you, then you have a good spine. Um, not to say that it's guaranteed for perfection or success or anything like that in terms of storytelling, but it does help you lift your feet off the ground in terms of, you know, narrating a film or doing anything in general. I really do feel like screenwriting is the backbone of filmmaking, just like you know, how drawing is the backbone of art, you know, it really does come to pen and paper. Um, so I'm really interested in seeing how I can kind of like, not only visually look at this from an audience, you know, an audience perspective, me being like, you know, first time uh, viewing of this, but also just looking at it from not only a filmmaking perspective, but kind of like an amateur uh, you know, student of screenwriting itself. So it's going to be really cool kind of saying that, but I definitely wanted to kind of make that note uh, as well and hope that you guys kind of learn something in the process as well too. Um, you know, I, I really love this channel that it's able to do that in the first place. So that's really cool. And you guys have been teaching me a lot too about these films and it's just really great. I love that this channel is a great place for aspiring filmmakers or people that are just interested in films and would like to know more um, about filmmaking can kind of look to this channel as a nice little, education bit you know to kind of just like you know tap into every once in a while so that's really cool but uh before we get started i just want to say thank you again i mean you guys rock thank you for all the love and support but like always guys let's hop right into the usual suspects hmm wow okay i love how they're making sure that this character is in the dark usually it would pan up it didn't from there i like that you don't really know who this person is damn wow double tapped he capped you with a sideways gun hold yo <laughs> like that's that's gangster all right Already starting off with uh, a mystery right now. I like it. Sure you brought enough guys? Yo, is that Benicio? Yo, look at how young he looks. Yo! Who would have thought he'd be the wolf today? That's awesome. It didn't make sense that I'd be there. I mean, these guys were hardcore hijackers. But there I was. Hmm. What, was he not supposed to... Not supposed to be there or something like that? He definitely is Besides, different from the rest of the fun. people that just got, got picked up, that's for sure. All right, you all know the drill. When your number is called... I do know this shot, though. I know this is an iconic shot right here. Give me the fucking keys, you fucking cocksucker motherfucker! Knock it off! Get back! <laughs> this is this is great. This is great. I don't know why I always thought like when I saw this, Benicio was Vince Vaughn. I don't know why I thought Vince Vaughn was this guy. Keys are working around the clock on this. You know what happens if you do another turn in the joint? 
fuck your father in the shower and then have a snack. You're gonna charge. Me? <laughs> oh my goodness, yo, these guys are savages, yo. <laughs> now you charge me with this shit, and I'll beat it. Okay. Hmm. Wow, I love these these takes on these characters. You know? I really, really, really. So I do something about this shit. I gotta hold it every five minutes. So I did live It's a really clever way of like kind of giving us a really neat introduction to them. But I also am noticing that it's not being told through either of them. It's being told through um Kevin Spacey's character who I, I forgot his name, but he's the one that doesn't even know these other people. So it's interesting that the story is being told so far by his perspective. I don't want to know. Who asked you working then? Fuck who did it. What I want to know is who's the gim. He's okay. So mm. you. How do I know that? I was wondering. I was like, he has to be in the room with them. I think that was really cool how they didn't showcase him until later on during the scene. Just to show how isolated and, you know, not a part of this group he is from the rest of them. Hmm. This is this is really interesting, especially now that like I'm I'm cluing in a little bit of what like happened on the first scene. It looked like it looked like they are they the people that were dead in the first scene. The chief wants this place sealed off. You have any questions? Give him a call. I'm really excited to see where this story takes us. Like, I'm I'm pretty excited about it. Whoa, everybody is young here. What the heck? Is that who I think it is? I mean, he looks so different that I'm not even sure. I'm telling you, this guy is protected from up on high by the Prince of Darkness. Take my word for it. Well, when does you post bail? Maybe two hours tops. Well, I want to see him. No. That's interesting. Wow. And they're talking about the guy who had the, the limp leg. Hey, please. Like he, he was protected? That's that's interesting. Above all, I want to be sure Dean Keaton's dead. He's dead. Come on. Two hours. Just till he makes bail. <laughs> they're all dead. I knew it. I had a feel I had a feeling that those were the guys we saw in the beginning of the scene there. Is he talking? This is crazy. Okay, I'm I'm greatly intrigued right now. Well, no, no, not to put a man. Send me someone who can speak Hungarian. Yeah, he's awake. He's talking like a Thai hooker. Oh man, we're losing him. Kaiser Shizze. Oh man, we're losing him. Kaiser Shizze. Kaiser Shizze. Latama Kaiser Shizze. Kaiser Shizze. Now that word, that that name, it sounds like a name. <laughs> sounds important. Wow, that was an interesting shot right there. Just kind of him scanning the wall and the room and everything like that. It was just quiet. That was a really interesting shot. Respect. He's a good friend of mine. Likes me very much. Now I know your testimony is sealed. Ruby's well connected. He's got a lot of friends inside, do a lot of favors for him. What do you think he would say? I love how this camera angle is positioned right now. Like how every time when it's on his uh, character, I mean, you know, instead of the detective or the federal agent, you know, you put them all it's in like jail kind of night. downward looking up. But when we go on his perfect, uh, perspective, the Fed's perspective, it's like kind of like me? looking down. No. On him, and that's just like a simple camera trick to display dominance within the scene. Then you, and I'm gonna find out what I want to know, and I'm gonna get it from you whether you like it or not. I'm not a rat. See, all about dominance, especially with the two so intimate in this moment right here. Wow, I love these shots. I absolutely love these shots right here. Oh, man. You can just tell the inner battle he's, like, kind of going through within his head. Just by how those shots were made. Fenster McManus had a KG proposition. 
a fast jump, high risk, long money. And again, it's being told by his perspective, which I think is so interesting because like and killing to do it right. Took five how men. how would they know five if he's telling the truth or not? <laughs> Keep because this is all from his perspective, right? Oh, shit. oh. oh fucker, whoa, I love that entire camera angle right there. That was really cool. Yo, this is so, like, well done. Whoa. I love how this entire thing is just being shot right now. Wow. Talk about a hit and run. They completely ran their entire life right through. That's crazy. Don't do this. Send her a note, something. I said we'll make it. I'm in love with the subtle zoom-ins that they do repeatedly throughout this movie. Especially when it comes to, like, character contemplation like that. It's really, it's really good. I like it, like, a lot. Times while he was on the force. In every case, witnesses either reversed their testimony to the grand jury or died before they could testify. When they finally did... Again, I think it's so fascinating that it's being told by his perspective and we're, we're kind of getting, like... I can't prove You know... <laughs> but I can't like, we're not sure what... Either. The actual story is because he has Dean Kingsley as someone else in his mind, you know, apparently to the feds, but then to him, it's completely different. Like he stopped for a woman because he was in love. Kaiser Scherze. Kaiser Scherze. Who, it, like, who is that? And he said that he sent he he saw the devil in him. That's terrifying. Describe him. Uh, okay. Mon nekem hojinezet kies Six. Okay, so they're gonna get a sketch of this person. All right. Ten minutes. The DA gave me immunity. Not from me. You get no immunity from me, you piece of shit. Every criminal I have put in prison. Every cop that owes me a wow, this is an intense scene. For living, will know the name of Verbal Kent. Now you talk. Jeez, this is precious immunity. They seem. So this is intense, man. But I'm sure Keaton is dead. Convince me and tell me every last detail. So we got a lawyer that's Kobayashi. We're getting little bits here and there of what is supposedly happening or what did happen. Hey! Hey, don't move. Oh, snap. Oh, this is not good. This this turns south really badly. Whoa. Holy yo. This dude just headshot both of them with a dual wield. Are you kidding me? This dude is this that's that's next level right here. Wow. Oh snap, it was verbal? Oh my goodness. You mentioned Kaiser Sosa. Who? Just bear with me here. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Those guys are so safe. Oh, fuck. Oh, this is. This is. This is going to be interesting. I love how this story is being told to us right now. This is really awesome. Somebody what I'm noticing with power. is the pacing. Beautiful pacing throughout us this screenplay right now. Come on, Dean. What the hell are we doing? And how it's partnered with the. Just the way the, the film is shot. Cinematically. In the hijacking of a truck in Buffalo, New York. The cargo was raw steel, steel which belonged to Mr. Soze and which was destined for Pakistan to be used in a nuclear reactor. Yikes. Oh, man. Yup. You guys stole from the wrong person, and now you have no choice but to do this. Damn. 
And he sounds very powerful. They got my whole life in here. Everything I've ever done since I was 18. I, oh, man. That is... Wow. They got every single thing on these guys. Whoa. Just needed the will to do what the other guy wouldn't. After a while... Just the way he's the saying this line and how... The camera was working around him. I don't know. I'm about this. I'm. I'm throwing out. For his business. This they guys. I could be completely wrong. Uh, so bear with me. Is verbal? Is is verbal? Kaiser Soze? Hungarians knew Soze was tough, not to be trifled with. So they let him know they meant business. Whoa! Oh my goodness! This is intense. Tells him he would rather see his family dead than live another day after this. Whoa! What the heck? On and then he goes after the rest of the mob. He kills their kids. He kills their wives. He kills their parents and their parents' friends. He burns down the houses. Okay, never mind. I guess that theory goes out the freaking window. I thought it was on to something. I thought like, you know, verbal could be Kaiser, because. He's such a, he's such an oddball, you know, in this story. But that was crazy. That was insane. <laughs> if he comes up for anything, it'll be to get rid of me. After that, my guess is you'll never hear from him again. Guys, I am I am conflicted. I'm absolutely conflicted because a part of me is like. A part of me, because, like, we still need to see this sketch. And again, like, it's being told through Verbal's perspective. So I still have to take everything with a grain of salt, even the story we were just told about Kaiser. I still, like, guys, I don't know. I feel like he is Kaiser because he somehow scammed somebody over, like, what, how much money? Everyone else did like hardcore stuff and he just like what simply scammed somebody and that picked up Kaiser's head. Alright, let's get the fuck I don't out know. of here. I'm a little iffy. We got it. But I could be completely freaking wrong though. That's the hilarious part, and you guys are gonna roast me in the comments, so <laughs> after they kill fence, then nobody would run? I wanted to. I thought we could make it. Well, why didn't you say anything? Well, believe me, I tried, but Keaton wouldn't have it. That was a really awesome shot. Love how it started up from above and tilting from the coffee and then panning right back up to that Always simple. inferior anger no angle or a say no superior angle of him being on top and verbal being on the bottom there. Right. Again, it's still like the perception of power. Mmm. Don't move. Wow. That was... That was some Mission Impossible right there. That was, I love like the, the kind of like the heist operations that are happening right here. Like it's been multiple ones in this movie and it's been so good. News said it's raining in New York. Love these close-ups. Wow. These are incredible close-ups during that moment because, I mean, they're basically, yeah, I mean, they're about to walk into certain death, and that's exactly what happened. <laughs> I don't know. I think I think Verbal is not who he says he is because this again is being portrayed through his perspective, so it's already a little iffy. I'm sorry if I keep saying that, guys. I'm just going with my gut here. You guys already know me and my gut. <laughs> there. Oh man, my heart's uh, my heart's kind of pacing, guys. <laughs> I'm noticing just how good this movie is. So well paced. Oh God, it's like it's too good. Shot some guys, but a boom, but a bing bang boom. 
Whoo! What? Oh my goodness, man! This entire scene is just so crazy. Wow! Yeah, man, I love how this is being shot. This is so well done. Again, the pacing is just absolutely phenomenal. It doesn't hold too long on like the fight scenes or I should say like the gunfights. Just the way that the scene is breathing. It's just, it feels so natural. I love it. Especially when dealing with so many parts. Oh no. Yep. Yo, was it? Was it? Yo, I'm telling you, it's verbal. Like, it's verbal. That has to be verbal. That turnaround just wasn't just because it was like, what? Then who? Who was that? If that's just, I don't even understand anymore. I like, come on. Who is it? What else? His name was Arturo Marquez, a petty smuggler from Argentina. He was arrested last year in New York for trafficking. He escapes to California. Or they pick him. Up. Or maybe this verbal work for Kaiser. Like maybe verbal works for Kaiser. You know. Arturo was very opposed to returning to prison, so much so that he named close to fifty people. Guess who he named in the finale? And that would probably explain why, you know, he was able to keep tabs on them. Maybe, maybe verbal actually works for Kaiser, hence why he's able to get immunity. You know, because Kaiser is this feared person. Maybe verbal works for him, hence why you know he's able to get all of these benefactors around him. No dope on that boat. <laughs> This is really fun. <laughs> this is a this is a fun watch. I love this. I'm so into it. Wow, I love how this is being shot. Holy. So this is Kaiser right here. Strangest thing. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Oh, he's done. He's dead. What if you miss? Guys, I'm I'm bamboozled right now. I don't know what to believe right here. I'm over here trying to figure out, you know, the truth behind it all. <laughs> And it's like throwing me for roller coasters, which I love. I mean, that's just kudos to the writing here. Oh my goodness, it's so good. Because he was my friend. No verbal. He wasn't your friend. Oh. Keaton didn't have friends. Is he saying Keaton was Kaiser? What? Will. Keaton was Kaiser's so say. Oh, snap. The kind of what? Man who could wrangle the wills of men like Hackney and McManus. The kind of man who could engineer a police lineup. Get the heck out. Are you kidding me? The one man that could identify him. This is all bullshit. You said you saw him die. Or did you? Yeah, that's right, because we, we didn't see him die. We didn't literally see him die. Everyone else we saw die. Him from the beginning. Really? No, I saw him die. What's it? I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even know what to even think. Like, I'm trying to wrap my head around it. I just don't. I don't. F what? Fucking. My belly's not sitting right. I don't know why. There's no like I I'm look I'm like trying to like rehash all the memory, but it is told from his perspective. So like like that's all we that's all we know. 
But then it's like, why are we hearing it from his perspective specifically? I mean, it could be because obviously he's the cripple and everything like that. But we haven't seen the drawing yet. We haven't seen the drawing. I think that's what's going to help identify it. Because that's the one thing that we were waiting on. They kept teasing on, like, the drawing. See a real horror show? See my garage. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this zoom-in. I'm telling you, the zoom-in's something's up. They've been teasing this zoom-in so many times throughout this movie. Something is about to happen. What is it? What is it? Back. I'm sure you've heard many tall tales. Brick's Marlin. This isn't right. I just want to hear the story. It's all there. And I'm telling it straight, I swear. Some guy in California. Was he using all the evidence behind to just make this story up? But Redford, Mr. Redford, knew nothing. You think? Bro, what? The legends of Kobayashi. I've never seen the so Back just when I was picking beans in Guatemala, we used to make fresh coffee. I know you thought he was a good man. I know he was good. Yo! Yo, he was he was Kaiser. He was freaking Kaiser, guys. This orchid is protected from up on high by the prince. I freaking knew it. And you, I'm not even gonna get on y'all for those who were probably doubting me. The Kobayashi. 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 Tell me every last detail. I am so done. Are you freaking kidding me right now? Holy crap, yo! The explanation is never that. You know what I'm getting at, Virgil, the truth! Come on, Virgil. No who do you think it's street? No, I can come from at all. Somebody with power. There was somebody who was capable Not of tracking us. Oh my gosh, I just got shivers all over my body. And sticks his head out. He didn't look nice to me. Because you're stupid, Virgil. Is he gonna start walking normally? You know, you know. <laughs> And oh my goodness, it's him. It's fucking him. Wow. You got to be kidding me. You got Yo, this is this movie's top tier. That was that was a top tier script right there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness was convincing the world he didn't exist. And like that, he's gone. Dude. What? What? Oh my goodness. That was... Guys, I'm like speechless. This was a fun... This was like incredible. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, everybody. And we are back from the usual suspects. That was probably my favorite watch so far on this channel and i'm so happy that was like that was like i was able to like experience that moment with you guys because i like oh my goodness what how like how are things thought up to be like this like this is so incredible man i would have loved to be in that room when they were writing something like this you know man that is absolutely incredible Oh, guys, I mean, my mind was racing throughout the entire film constantly. I was just trying to figure it out as well, but then also show appreciation, obviously, for the filmmaking, but, you know, also use the filmmaking as a way for me to kind of, like, low-key cheat and see, like, you know, what the true story was and everything like that. <laughs> because, you know, filmmaking is, you know, it's not just the words that are presented to us. Um, it's also just how the, you know, the, the camera moves, and that can possess clues within itself as well. Um, and man, like so many things are like clicking and like when they, when they knew when they, cause I, I felt that I felt that it had to have been him because he was the oddball out of the group. He was the oddball out of the group. But the reason why I started doubting it a little bit was because I was like, well, wait a minute. He could have just like gotten paid by, um, uh, by him and they could have just been working together, you know, cause why not? Oh my goodness, I, I, wow. Guys, this was awesome. Thank you guys so much for recommending me this film. This was just an, an awesome watch. I am going to, oh man, 
Oh god, I gotta show some of my friends who haven't seen this too yet. <laughs> this was a this was an awesome watch. Wow. Guys, if you want to see the full length, definitely check out the Patreon link below. Um, there you can find like early access. You guys can you guys can vote me more movies such as these as well too. Um, yeah, it's just a fun time over there. So if that's something that you're interested in, definitely check out the Patreon link below. But guys, this was incredible. I hope you guys are having a great day. This definitely brightened my day. Not to say that I was having a bad day or anything like that, but it's just so cool. Like just witnessing stories like this and just having it take you along for the ride and i had a really damn good time so like always guys be safe stay hydrated because we are just getting started purple jacket pocket full of weed everything that i should ever need grab some matches because they give them free just like my time hair pulled back in the back seat